Today, we'll delve into the concepts of obfuscation, hashing, and more, examining how they contribute to securing digital information and transactions. Obfuscation involves making data unclear or unintelligible to unauthorized viewers. It's a critical strategy in protecting sensitive information from being easily deciphered if accessed improperly. Steganography is the art of hiding information within other non-secret data. An example is embedding a secret message within a digital image, making it undetectable to the naked eye, but retrievable by those who know it's there. Tokenization replaces sensitive data with non-sensitive substitutes, known as tokens. This is widely used in financial services, where payment card information is replaced with tokens to secure transactions while processing payments. Data masking involves obscuring specific data within a database to protect it. For example, in customer databases, sensitive information like social security numbers may be masked for regular users but visible to authorized personnel. Hashing converts data into a fixed-size string of characters, which is a hash. Unlike encryption, hashing is one way. It's widely used for storing passwords securely. Even if the hash is accessed, the original password can't be easily derived from it. Salting adds random data to a password before hashing. This ensures that the hash is unique, even if the underlying password is not, thwarting attacks like rainbow table attacks. Digital signatures are cryptographic techniques used to verify the authenticity and integrity of digital messages or documents. Key stretching techniques like bcrypt are used to strengthen weak passwords against brute force attacks by transforming them into longer, more complex keys. Blockchain is a distributed ledger technology. It ensures the integrity and verifiability of data recorded in the blockchain, making tampering extremely difficult. An open public ledger is a decentralized and transparent record-keeping system. In cryptocurrencies, it allows anyone to view transaction histories and balances, ensuring transparency and security. Digital certificates authenticate the identity of a website or user. Certificate authorities issue these certificates, ensuring a secure and trustworthy connection between users and websites. Certificate authorities, CIAs, issue digital certificates, while certificate revocation lists, CRLs, list certificates that have been revoked before their expiration dates, usually due to compromised security. The Online Certificate Status Protocol, OCSP, is used to obtain the revocation status of a digital certificate. Certificates can be self-signed, issued by a third-party CA, or be part of a root of trust. Wildcard certificates secure a domain and all its subdomains. In conclusion, understanding and employing these cryptographic techniques and solutions is vital for protecting digital assets and ensuring secure communications in our increasingly digital world.